talk, let's talk about this for a moment. Let's talk about how we are going to handle these coming weeks and months. Now I'm going to tell you as someone responsible for all 8.5 million people in the city, I am never going to, and this is, this is a tough thing to say and I have trouble saying it, but I'm never going to ignore the possibility that we might be able to find some common ground with the new administration on some issues. I'm being straight up because you, you deserve that honesty. If we, we know we do not know what President Trump, President-elect Trump said he meant and what he didn't mean. <laughs> and we also know, right, we know that to begin with. One thing we know, we don't know. <laughs> and there are a number of issues where he changed his position regularly Already. throughout the campaign. Do you remember when he said women should be punished if they have an yes. abortion? Yes. And that was gone in 12 hours? Yes. And they, well, there would be a Muslim ban, then there wouldn't be a Muslim ban, then it was on the website, then it wasn't on the website. I mean, you got to laugh at it on the one hand, and it's deadly serious on the other hand. That's right. But it also means, look, my job is to defend us all. If the president-elect is serious about a huge infrastructure investment plan, what city would be better off than New York City? And we will, we will offer an open hand. If there's a serious interest in doing good work for the people, we will offer an open hand. If, if he wants to do tax reform and make the hedge funds pay their fair share in taxes, he said that's what he wants. If that's real, we will be with, there with him. There may be moments like that, and we have to wish for them. You saw President Obama, and I give him so much honor, and I give Hillary Clinton so much honor. Those were not easy speeches to make. Those were not easy speeches. But the, from the heart they were saying, we must hope that there is still some good that can be found, and it's our job to meet it.